son of a bitch. Hey everybody, this is Matthew Movies coming at you with my review of Land of the Dead, the 2005 George A. Romero zombie film that I like but I don't love. The fourth in his series of Living Dead films. This one is interesting. I actually feel like I would enjoy this movie more if it wasn't a Romero film. And I say that because if this movie just came out of nowhere and I just went and checked it out, I'd be like, wow, that was really solid. That was, I enjoyed that a great deal. But because it was Romero, I went into it with really, really high expectations because, I mean, the man is just a master filmmaker, or at least was, unfortunately, he recently passed away. So I went into it expecting something uh, of, of the same ilk of Night of the Living Dead or Dawn of the Dead, and unfortunately, the, this isn't quite up there, so it disappointed me, and I've never been able to quite quite get rid of that little bit of disappointment in this film. However, I do feel like in all fairness, that is an unworthy statement kind of, because, you know, you can't base your opinion on a film on what came before it by that one director, but realize full well that you would have liked it more. It seems seems unfair, but unfortunately, I mean, I just gotta be honest, that's just how I feel. But overall, I do find this to be a solid film. For those of you who haven't seen it, essentially, this is years after a zombie apocalypse, and it all takes place within this community and the outskirts of it, where they basically, there's this fortified little city where there is a kind of a feudal system where there's people that are living high on the hog and, and this life of extreme luxury and then there's other people who are you know very much destitute and, and, and poverty stricken and, and and they're all about their vices in order to continue living in any kind of happiness and the, the, the two systems are dependent upon one another and they all exist within this little this fortified little land and, and the whole basically the whole community is propped up by this group of people that go out in a vehicle that they call dead reckoning because it has been built and designed and captained by this gentleman who's played by the actor Simon Baker and he goes out there and he captures their food and, and their medicine and, and he, he basically allows the, the whole community to continue to exist and, and the, he's celebrated for that fact and, and he goes out there and, and he saves the day pretty much and then he decides that he's had enough and he's he's gonna retire and somebody else is gonna take the reins from him and right after he does this he goes and he sees this woman and it turns out that she is a prostitute and she's been put into a cage with a zombie for the entertainment of a bar because like I said they're all about their vices and they, they the Simon Bacon's char character and a friend of his save her and in doing so kill somebody else and as a result they are arrested and they go from that high, Simon Bacon goes from that high of being this the city's hero to all of a sudden being imprisoned and even though much of the city still would 100% support him he, he's in there and he, he manages to get out and he goes and the only reason why he gets out is because Dennis Hopper's character exists in this movie and Dennis Hopper's character is basically the guy who created the city and runs the city and it, it that is completely living this life of absolute luxury and, and he is uh, rules with an iron fist and he gets him and he sends him out to go retake Dead Reckoning because the guy who was the second in command, John Leguizamo, he decided that he was going to go out and he was going to destroy the Dennis Hopper's building because he had enough money to finally buy his way into this life of luxury that he's been witnessing for all these years and Hopper said no to him anyways despite the cash just because he didn't feel like he was the caliber of person he wanted in his, his building so he was gonna go out and destroy it and kill all those people so Dennis Hopper takes Simon Bacon's character and says you know go out and save the day go recapture the the dead reckoning and it'll it'll basically save the day yet again and and that's where the that's basically the whole story but in in the background of this whole thing you get introduced to the zombie that they call big daddy who is awesome and basically he's a continuation of the story that you saw in day of the dead where there was a zombie that was starting to to have these emotions and these abilities that were a throwback to what he was like as a human being and big daddy is is becoming aware and as a result he ends up leading this 
massive group of zombies towards that city and so you have all these things happening all at once that are threatening the city and and it just kind of goes from there and there's there's a lot of those characters that I, I discussed I thought were very interesting like I, I enjoyed the character that Simon Baker plays even if I didn't love his performance and Asia Argento is, is the person who plays the prostitute and and it's really it was really really cool seeing her in this film because she is the daughter of Dario Argento Argento I should say who is in himself a zombie movie movie legend, director, and writer, and it was really, really cool to, to see that crossover, and because Romero and Argento are pals, and, and that whole thing was great. I mean, Dennis Hopper, whenever you see him in something, that's, that's always going to be a lot of fun. And I enjoy Leguizamo in this film a great deal as well. I think, actually, to a large degree, he's actually probably might be the most enjoyable part of this film, aside from Big Daddy. And the, the character that I mentioned earlier in passing, the guy who helps out Simon Baker's character in, in saving the prostitute, is this guy who you find find out is, is a bit of a simpleton but he's an amazing shot and it was he was a very very interesting character I don't know the actor's name who played him but I thought he did a very good job it felt like a very organic character and, and like I said to, for me absolutely the highlight of this film though is the whole stuff with Big Daddy they keep going back and back and forth to him where they're showing all the, the humans and their power struggles and all that stuff and that, all that stuff is fairly interesting but when they show the shots of Big Daddy where he's leading this this mass of, of zombies it's, it's just fascinating and, and, and to show the way in which he's able to, to to show them the way to the city all that stuff I thought was very very well done and, and for me is the absolute highlight of this film and then Dennis Hopper and, and John Leguizamo would be tied for second place and and, and the the interactions between Leguizamo and Dennis Hopper are fantastic and and the way that those characters get left off was was really really great I I enjoyed this movie a great deal but like I said I, I just can't say that I love it just based on expectations alone and it, it, it's kind of taught me a lesson about how to get try to go into a film with as low as expectations as possible or as reasonable as expectations as possible so you don't get something so grandiose in your head and allow it to take away from your experience to begin with and, and to me this is, might be the the epitome of that for me and and it's a little bit sad but like i said i am still in, able to enjoy it to this day so those are my thoughts on land of the dead let me know in the comment section below what you think if you're a fan if you went into it with high expectations as well if you think I, i'm downplaying it whatever other than that please hit that like button hit that share button it makes it much more likely that other people will discover this video and come and check it out and let me know what they think and besides that please 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 hit subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you can find out when i put out a new video and come and check it out and then have a good day